State Red Coach Pat Jones with your host, Jerry Park. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to the Pat Jones Show. Cowboys on the road again. Homecoming in Columbia, Missouri. Pat, now that you've had a chance to look at the films of the game, your thoughts? Well, I think going in, uh, Jerry, the, the, Missouri, because of what they had done record-wise, uh, you know, they beat a good Illinois football mm -hmm. team. Uh, they had tied Indiana. Yesterday, Indiana gave Michigan a, a devil of a time. Uh, I don't think inside our program, player or coach-wise, that we felt like it was going to be easy at all. Again, I think maybe a general assumption could have been coming off a Nebraska-Miami swing. Well, now this deal is going to get quite a bit easier for you. you know, nothing's easy for us. I thought we had to play extremely well. The frustrating thing was that I think we, we had practiced, maybe had our best week of workouts. I think we were a real good emotional stage going in. We'll see here the way the ball game starts. Again, we give up a couple of big plays early on that, that really affected us, although I think we kind of dug out of it a little bit. But uh, uh, Miz, uh, the, the score Missouri-Colorado-wise, I think, was a little bit of an illusion because of what Darian Hagan had just mm -hmm. destroyed Missouri single-handedly. Right. In between times, Missouri had played pretty well. We we're really afraid of Missouri's throwing game. Uh, they've been good at it. They know what they're doing at it. So we'll see when this thing starts here and what the people will, will get a chance to see. I think you'll see a pretty good Missouri football team. I think you'll see Oklahoma State play hard. We'll take a look at the highlights of the first quarter when the Pat Jones Show continues after this initial timeout. As we begin the highlights of the Oklahoma State-Missouri game, Pat, Missouri won the toss, deferred to the second half. You took the ball, Missouri took the win. Yeah, again, uh, you, the win was a little bit of a factor. It was coming from the uh, the end that has the big rock M on it. They, they kicked the ball down, and I don't want to belabor the point. I'm not going to on this field situation, but it was a little bit slick for both squads. And we opened up with a little short pass out here, and they had kicked the ball in the end zone. We kept it in. Doing a couple of different things off of the option game, we got a little bit confused on some of our block schemes and turned loose that guy right there early on. They had had some problems with the option, and they did a pretty good job by and large there. We were lucky this ball did not get intercepted. Uh, again, we, we made a first down. I think there was a face mask penalty somewhere in there. Uh, again, now we punt down there. Uh, have good coverage, they're going to get the ball with a little bit of wind at their back. I don't know whether you can see it. They said, we've got a blitz on here, the first play. Now, the uh, Cornell Cannon, the guy, our strong safety, who was assigned here to number 81, actually slipped down. Now, they hit it. Uh, we, we went in not thinking we were going to blitz a lot, but we wanted to try to get them a little bit out of rhythm early on. They hit the play down to about the five, run the, the, the draw trap, uh, hit a little bit of a crease, and. Uh, we're behind, obviously, seven to nothing. Now we get the ball back, uh, turn around, pitch it on a sweep to Berrien. Nice run. Now they hit him and the ball comes loose. So, again, you've got two big, big plays here that, that, that really put us in a hole. Now they zing it and, and again, that draw trap out of the shotgun. Uh, we had worked on it uh, maybe a little bit less than what they ran it. Now somewhere in here, and I can't. They started no huddling this, which was not a real big problem. But once we got settled down a little bit, uh, again they had us on our heels certainly with the long pass, the fumble. Again, now we're behind 14 to nothing. Really, be, yeah, before we can ever get, really get started. Uh, now this is a good-looking drive that we put together here. First play, we run the fullback and, and get hit in the mouth for no gain. But uh, you can see Missouri is obviously very, very gunned up. Pitch the ball off on the option, make five yards. Good job by Berrien. Uh, we we kind of turned one of their perimeter people loose a little bit, but uh, get the ball pitched, uh, get things sealed a little bit from the inside out. And again, uh, we we left Russell in the ball game even though he had fumbled early on, because the guy's a, he's a good young football player. And here's Ford going back to pass, hits Robert Kirksey across the middle. You know this is Kirksey's caught the ball in X number of games now for a long time. Kirksey continues to play well. First down and 10. Okay, you can see this option. Ford ducks up inside and, and makes positive yardage. Okay, now running a, a cross motion. Okay, again, hitting a crack. That's We got the guy blocked that we, we had missed the first series. Short yardage here. They run up inside and, and get hit for no gain. Now, we're fixing to go for it on fourth down here. Again, we're two touchdowns back. Now, this is interesting here. Uh, they had lined up offsides. 
the tailback slipped. I couldn't tell what had gotten called. Watch the tailback. Watch 21. Okay, there he goes. See, he slips and falls. Ford scrambles out of it. I, I couldn't tell again what had been called when the yellow flag hit the ground. Turned out to be offside. Yeah, the, yeah Missouri had lined up offside. Uh, uh, but again, and, and it's going to be a little bit hard for me to, to get an accurate description of this thing, and I'm not trying to blame the field on us getting beat. You know, it's been a little bit of a problem here. Okay, but now here's Barry in, uh, breaking a nice looking run. Nice scene. Again, under pressure, we're behind 14, we're going into the wind. All right, backside linebacker hit us in the head there. All right now we come off, give the ball back to him, and, and, and a nice run, Russell. Good job here. Still making some yards, all right, Ford comes back. All right, we, they, we threw it into a little bit of traffic there. They had it covered initially, come back off. Now, a little bit of an errant toss there on the option. I, I think it was probably Kenny timing a little bit more there. All right, Ford goes back. Boy, it's a great looking catch by Mark Cheatwood. Great catch here, Mark, and good, good throw by Ford. Again, when we're driving and under pressure and going against the wind, Nice throw, nice catch. I'm afraid we might have lost Cheatwood here for a little while because he kind of got rattled a little bit later. Same play again. Run a little bit of a corner route uh, in between them. This was really, really a, a big catch. Cheatwood's a good little football player. All right, option again. Okay, there we go. We hit the little crack right here. Again with Ford. Uh, they had had some problems with some of this stuff. Okay, here we come off again. Duck up inside. Good looking run here, Kenny. A uh, good block, I think, on, on the perimeter. Let's see what we get right here. We got a repeat of it coming up. Um, all right, there we go. You can see LG Thompson is getting 24, is getting the guy sealed. We missed him the first couple of times. He gets him pinned there. We do hit a crack. Okay, now we come off, give the ball off to Roger Franks. A couple of tough yards here. Missouri, in my opinion, is a little bit better defensively. I, I thought this going in, like we had remarked earlier on. All right, here's Ford scrambling around. This does a good job, LG Thompson. Uh, touchdown, Oklahoma State, but you know, Missouri is not a great defensive football team, but they're, they're a little bit better than we've seen them in the last couple of years. They've got a little bit better team speed. Thompson in good position here. Yeah, okay, yeah, Ford, good job uh, of seeing this. Good touch pass, threw it in there. LG breaks a route and comes off and catch it 14 to seven. We've gotten ourselves back in position. You kick the extra point. Again, you're down 14 on the road. And this was a good looking drive. Okay, we come in here and kick off. All right, uh, again, going into a little bit of wind. Uh, uh, field the ball at the five. Come back out, uh, hits a little bit of a crack, but not much. I thought by and large the coverage units did a good job all day long. Not much that they ran that was basically straight running plays had much effect on us. Okay, now this guy, this does. Now again, this uh, Phil Johnson has got running ability. He, uh, leading rusher, most of this was just scramble stuff. I mean, again, it wasn't a designed quarterback draw or anything, threw it out there and they drop it. Uh, the hitch stuff, it's really hard to plant and come back on this stuff. They had problems with it, so did we. This got is an example okay. of what you're uh, yeah, talking and, about, and we, we missed a couple, see, missed a couple, three tackles. This guy is, a, again, I thought going in a good looking quarterback, okay, Cornell Cannon rattled him pretty good and we get the ball. Watch Cornell unload on him right there. Good job, Cannon. Good job, Mike Clark. I think Clark played a good ball game here. Cannon striked and hits him good here. That's what good defense is all about, even though they broke off a long run. But his scrambles are not easy to contend with. All right, they blitzed a guy off the corner. We had a deep pass called off that option action. Okay, again, to give it to Franks, and they're ganging up on the inside running game pretty good. Ford going back to throw. Uh, sets, no. fires, okay, bang, boom, there we go. And Okay, no, his knee went down. The frustrating thing, and I, it did with their receivers too, uh, again, is, is, is the traction on some of this short throwing stuff. Vincent did a little bit better job punting the ball this week than he, than he had uh, against Nebraska. Uh, okay, so they're going to have, uh, they're backed up a little bit, him going back and throwing and throws the ball right down in there. Again, as, as good as they are at throwing the ball, some of this stuff they're going to hit up in front of us. Uh, it's just going to happen. Now this kind of thing right in there is a little bit tough, although Harmon was in pretty good position. Here's the draw trap and now we play it like we wanted to play it and make it bounce to the outside and they have no play. So again, it's 14 to 7 at the end of the first quarter and we've dug ourselves out of a little bit of a hole. And Pistol Pete's ready for second quarter action. We'll have that on the Pat Jones Show right after these messages. Well, my family was growing by leaps and bounds. We were having trouble driving around. So before things got too out of hand, I decided I'd get us a custom van. My buddy said you could...
Welcome back, everybody, to the Pat Jones Show. A couple of quick touchdowns by Missouri, Pat, but the Cowboys have battled back. It's 14-7 to as we begin the second quarter. Well, again, we had made a good-looking drive here. Uh, Missouri's got the ball out here now, throws nice throw and catch by them. But, uh, you know, again, I, I keep repeating this, some of this stuff up in front of us is, is just going to have this little check-through stuff. And, again, is, is, is pretty tough. Uh, they get to running downhill, and, uh, we got scared off of the blitz early on, obviously, because we had slipped and fallen, turned one of them loose. You can see now we've got a little bit of a foreign blitz running right there. They run into it and don't make much. Uh, th okay, here we go right here. Right, here yeah, this is the third and eight play, and this is that quick screen that, that, that a lot of people are running. I think these people really kind of invented this thing. Big play on third and eight. We were in a form of man coverage, and they got us kind of got us picked there a little bit. And, uh, and hit us, it's 21 to seven. Now we come back and make another pretty good looking drive, all right? Ford sits back in and gets sacked. Uh, okay, they've got a little bit of a blitz on. This was a call draw and he had the presence of mind to jump outside of a blitz and gets in the open field. I thought he might score from the sideline and they ran him down, a repeat coming up. Again, this was a call quarterback draw. They ran some linebackers through up inside and Kenny gets outside, good job, Roger Franks. And again, he was off to the races here. They did a nice job from the backside running him down, or he would have scored. Uh, and we've got the ball now down on deep in their end of the field. So again, it's 21 to seven, but we're, we're, we're acting like that, that we're gonna make a move. We got the ball about the 18, 19 yard line. 19. Okay, Russell Berrien, uh, tough yards there. So, uh, okay, now we come back in, go a little bit of play action. All right, uh, he just kind of tackled the fullback, uh, the tailback in there. Kenny gets loose, scrambles again, and now we've got short yards. I think there's a real interesting uh, couple of plays coming up. If there was a turning point, I think it probably was this. Okay, good job of scrambling around by Ford when they had us uh, covered. It's, it is now third down and two. Uh, we're going to line up here and, 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 and run the option. And again, we missed a block out there on the corner. They throw us for a loss. We come in here, kick the field goal. All right, they, they do a good job. I think one of our wing men blocked down a little bit or lined up a little bit too tight. That was a real big swing there. Okay, there's that draw trap. They do get up inside of us again, but when it looked like we were going to counter another touchdown and, and, and possibly get it to 21 to 14, again, they stop us, block the field goal, and uh, you know, they're, they're, again, they're moving the ball again. Now, all right, here's Johnson going back. Boy, this is a great, great catch great here catch. by Victor Bailey. I mean, we had him covered, and, and that's the guy that they had hurt at Colorado. Okay, here's Johnson coming back and around, scrambling, had the presence of mind to throw it away. But that was a real big catch. That, that, all right, bounce pass. Okay, now this is a call play right here. And we had, they were in behind us. Uh, they had gotten in. This is the bounce pass that, I remember Texas A&M years ago. Mm -hmm. Uh, ran this play. Uh, okay, he throws in complete. Was that fourth down there? Yeah, you take over yeah, we, on the 33. Okay, we stop him on, on fourth down, throw a quick screen ourselves out to Milner, and he makes good positive yards. But no, the bounce pass was a, was a good point call on their part, and they had us fool. But we stop him. All right, Kenny goes back. All right, scrambles around and gets loose again. So now he's coming back. All right, good job, uh, Ford. Again, his mobility is, is obviously uh, a factor here. I, we did not sustain our pass protection this week as well as, as we had against uh, Nebraska. Quite honestly, I think they've got a couple of guys who are better pass rushers than, than, than what Nebraska's playing with, and it showed up a little bit. All right, first down and 10, come back on the option. They ran us down from the back side here. They had a little stunt on and hit him from the back. All right, now he goes back to, to, to throw, comes back, gets hit, almost broke that one. All the, you know, the, you can see that Missouri has got a little bit more team speed. Big play here. He gets hung up, gets sacked, the ball comes out, See, if, if we just hold on to that and can punt them off down there, right. you got a chance. All right, they come back, and, and, and Funch has had his hands on this one. You can see him agonizing out there and don't feel. Draw a trap again. We were playing. The, they got us running up the field, and you can see when they broke it up this inside of us. Third and four us. play. Third and four. Okay, he goes back. We've got him covered, and, and again, Johnson breaks off the long run. Uh, Turkweed had, had an extra defensive back in the ballgame. This was a big play. Real big play, the great catch in that scramble, two big plays for him. Again, you can see that any kind of somewhat traditional handoff they're having trouble with. Run the bootleg and we've got him contained and got it covered and, and they throw it low. Okay, he, here he comes, Johnson comes back now. And we've got him, he's scrambling around again. And now they, they kind of had Clark in a really a bind over there and the scramble type thing with Johnson is good at 
yeah. now puts your coverage really in a, in a, in a tough position. It's 28 to seven, and you can see now the, the great catch by Victor Bailey in the, in the scramble. Uh, it, it, it gotten us in trouble. Good job of Dimitri Markham. He made a couple of nice looking returns. Okay, Berrien comes back and, and runs and, and makes some good yards. So Denson at tailback. Yeah, yeah, Denson is back in the, in, in the game. We're all trying to alternate these guys. Good cut, Raphael. He gets loose. Looks like he's going to run. Again, boy, really, really good to get him back in the flow of the running game. Okay, turn around and pitch it to him. All right, he cuts, and again, it's, it's, this is unusual getting your footing, particularly first time on this, but he gets in the open field. I mean, again, this guy, it, statistically his best ball, I think he had 90, 91 yards rushing. Okay, get the ball pitched to Denson outside, and you can see here, so we're countering most of what they're, they're doing, with the exception of the turnovers. Ford comes down, gets the ball pitched. All right, Denson gets it and hits a crack, and it doesn't take very much. All right, that's a way to shake and bake, and that's a way to keep your feet and get turned off down the field. All right, come on, give the ball to him again. Boom, that makes that guy miss him. And they come up and, and hit him, all right? First down, long yardage here. Ford goes back to throw. All right, good job throwing the ball out to LG Thompson. Um, not much time left, in, if I remember, I think we might have been running some two minute stuff down in here at some point. All right, Kenny kind of fired that ball out there and down there again. All right, we go back to throw. All right, uh, okay, Kenny throws, holds it, throws it deep. All right, uh, just overthrew the receiver. See, there's 53 seconds left. Is right. this the fourth down? Yes, it is. Yeah. See, I couldn't bring myself to punt down in there. We're down. We need to take a chance. Sure, the worst case scenario is take a 19-yard sack, which we do. Turn a guy loose. Now down the middle. You see, there's 38 seconds left. Uh, okay, Johnson goes back to throw. We've got him covered. All right, he takes off running again, and we drag him down from back, behind. 30 seconds left. The clock's running. Okay, he comes out. Goes back to throw again. We've got him covered. He dances around. Hey, come on, come on, men, get up. Throws it down. This guy makes a great dive and catch. You know, I think they were smart in this. Okay, he downed the ball. They had a substantial lead, and they were going to go try to go to, for really a knockout punch on us. All right, so we got that. He goes, and now we've got him covered. He breaks and runs again down in here. There's 10 seconds left. And I think they do take a timeout. And he comes back, throws a fade, and got it. For a freshman Turquoise turned around over there. Again, Bailey's an awfully good receiver. It didn't help them any not having him against Colorado. But you can see that, again, I couldn't bring myself to, to, to punt out there when we were behind and didn't think that we'd get sacked. Well, we did hit a pass and get down in there, and they applied a pretty much a knockout punch to us. But the thing about it, Jerry, is we had moved the ball two big turnovers and a big, uh, when they made the nice catch and when we had that series where they blocked the field goal, very, very crucial. We're at halftime, it's 35 to seven, Missouri over Oklahoma State, homecoming in Columbia. We'll talk about what happened at halftime with Pat Jones on the Pat Jones Show in just a couple of minutes. We're at halftime between Oklahoma State and uh, Missouri and Columbia, Missouri. And Pat, you've said all season long, the one thing that this team cannot do is get down big early. And it happened again in the first half. Missouri. Well, uh, yeah, again, the, the two quick touchdowns kind of put us in a little bit of a tough position. But again, we dug out of that. I, again, the, the, what we saw here about midway through the second quarter, drive down there, act like we're going to counter the score when it's 21 to seven, third and two, get thrown for a loss, get the field goal blocked. Then they come back out, hit a pass, hit a screen, get down there. Well, then we drive the ball back in there. Uh, Ford got sacked, fumbled the ball. Okay, now they get it, go down there and do something. We get it and drive right back. And again, we've got the ball down on their end of the field. Uh, I'm not second guessing myself on the, 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 no, the decision not to punt the ball. I, again, you wouldn't have gained much had you. Uh, you'd rather not have taken a 19-yard loss. Ford had rushed, I think, Jerry, for about 85 yards mm -hmm. before you subtract right. losses. He was 8 out of 13 throwing the ball. Uh, so, again, we had gotten some things done. At halftime, we talked about it, and it really didn't bother us a great deal, in which you can't see on the, on, the, on the video. They had no huddled us most of the first half. We always work on that, and once we got in the flow of it, that really did not present us a problem. They were doing a few more things out of the shotgun than maybe we might have anticipated, but that was the same stuff that we had worked on. Bought him a little bit of time throwing the ball. But again, most of the stuff that we had done or that really affected us were Johnson scrambling, the great catch by Victor Bailey, and us turning the ball over and giving up a big play. So 
the score, we knew the score was inflated because we had done some decent things. Right. Now, again, at 35 to 7, you really got a lot of digging out to do, but I think there was more resolve than there was real frustration at the half to go out there and let's play with them and see what will happen. Well, we'll see what happens when the Pat Jones Show continues and we show you highlights of the second half against Missouri. That's coming up in just a couple of minutes. Welcome back to the Pat Jones Show. As we began the telecast, we told you that Missouri won the toss, deferred to the second half. Well, we're ready to start second half action. They take the ball, and Pat, we pick up uh, the action. They have a first down on their own 20. We had done a good job on kick coverage. Had them down inside the 20. Again, bluffed a blitz and came out of it. And, you know, again, some of this quick stuff throwing the ball is, is, is a little bit tough on the receivers. All right, they come back and then get hit one in the middle. Uh, you know, I never really did detect that we did not basically have quite a few people around. Uh, around the football and again they try to run a little bit of sweep and, and, and don't make much. Okay, comes back and, and gives the ball off on a handoff and he bounced in behind us. This was again the only kind of, as I remember, somewhat straight running play that they really made any appreciable yardage on at all. Again, now I got this ball off on a delay and, and we get kind of hung up inside a couple of blocks and, uh, and let them get out around midfield. Okay, Johnson goes back and now again throw, throws up in front of him and throws one in the dirt. Turn around on the hand sweep not much here okay so uh, defensively now we're going to get them stopped again here a little bit of a sprint out all right he throws him scotty Harmon almost had him another interception he's going to get him one here in a minute but nice job of breaking all the ball it's a good picture you can see Harmon. we're playing a little bit of different type coverage and he read it well and nice break and almost had an interception so we stop him force the punt uh, again Missouri comes in and, and hits this ball we're real lucky here this this youngster like to caught the ball in there and down it and went ricocheting in. Everybody's kind of antsy over there, bobbing and weaving. You can see Gundy watching the action. Okay, come on and give the ball off. Uh, Barry in, uh, not a whole lot. Fake and run a little bit of a bootleg, dump it off to LG Thompson. Good throw and good catch. Uh, by and large, here's a repeat of the same thing. We had moved the ball, and that's, that's why I say I, it wasn't like we just went out there and repeatedly had third down and out, third down and out, third down and out. It, it really wasn't that way, although, again, we'd get off down in here and sputter. All right, Kenny tries to throw the little quick screen again. And Kirk, yeah, Kirksey had just blown up one of their strong safeties, and, 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 and we couldn't get the ball thrown and caught. I didn't realize he had dropped that ball until I just saw that then. And Kenny gets into a scramble situation. They ring neck him from the back side. All right, we come back out, run us a little bit of play action. He's sitting in here and, and throws now throws the interception. Again, then I'm back on our end of the field, and uh-oh, things don't look real good here. Defensively, we go in, got some good pressure, forcing him to run around. Good pressure by Gildon. Good job, uh, Clarence Nobles, having a guy covered. The back, you can see the shotgun. I'd right, fake the little draw and come back, throw it to the outside. All right, they slip and fall, and we get them down, but not any real appreciable yardage here. Third and eight. Third and eight. Okay, screen pass. Big play here. They ran a little slip screen. They've got a pretty good screen game. They got. The, we were really scared of that. They got several screens that they can hit you with. All right, run it. Okay, not much here. Again, the, the draw trap. So they got a pretty simple running game because they're going to major in throwing the ball. All right, here we go. Come back. Got some pretty good pressure on him. He, he starts scrambling, throws the ball around. Uh, Scotty Harmon's got it. It, 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 it appears to me that when you can get him forced to the outside, again, he tends to throw the ball in a crowd a little bit as opposed to set back in the pocket. Again, we're going to see this guy several other times during the course of his career. and That was kind of interesting just watching the way he reacted as far as being inside the pocket or outside of it. All right, Ford goes back, had the three-step game call. I right, checked off, come back over here and throw it to Burt Milner. Uh, again, Milner makes the catch. All right, give the ball off to... Uh, Denson, good looking run here. Uh, good job, Rafael. Again, uh, Denson and Berrien and continue to make positive yards. All right, here's Rafael again. Broke up inside. Uh, good job of churning your feet. He, he came out of the game, really. I, he, I asked him after he said his ankle felt good. So you can see there, I mean, it, 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 he's having some spin outs himself, but it's, it's still, watch this guy here, okay? Rafael's going to spin a little bit, but he also makes this guy miss him. And, and good job, good job, Rafael. You know, again, 91 yards on the day. I'd like to have him get over 100, but he'll do that here sometime soon. Good job of cutting and, and, and keeping your feet moving. Again, this is, uh, we're seeing more things out of him. All right, run him up inside, short yardage. Uh, again, we knocked him off the ball pretty good here. Uh, this is a pretty methodical drive, and, and you pitch it. Okay, nothing there. Turn the guy loose, no gain. Hold him up, son. There you go. All right, second down and 12. Ford goes back to throw. 
Okay, good job. Gets it out to Denson on the sideline. Okay. So, it, it, you know, we couldn't generate a real big play, but we're moving it, it I think, fairly effectively. Roger Franks, who I, I cannot say enough good things about, uh, he had a bunch of knockdowns. This is kind of classic Oklahoma State fullback stuff with what he's doing. A lot of times you don't see it, but he's, uh, he needs to get his shoulders down a little bit more when he's running the ball, but good effort. That's a way to uh, twist and spin and, and fight. So, um, you know, here we, here we go here. Fourth down Yeah, we're one. going to have fourth and one. Go for it. You can kind of read my lips. That wasn't that hard a decision. We're behind this much. Okay. All right, now we're going to run a little bootleg. Same thing we'd hit before, and Kenny comes back, tries to throw against the grain. This is where Cheatwood got rattled. I, he stayed down for a pretty good while. He just kind of knocked him silly. Um, you know, I think he's eventually going to be all right, but you can't be too careful with that kind of stuff. Denson had slipped and got up, and the ball ricocheted off his headgear. I think they basically had it covered. Okay, Kenny goes back, throws and through. That's the same little delay that we hit last week, and he threw the ball behind. Raphael, okay, forward, sprint out. All right, comes back, throws the ball down. They're going to call interference on, uh, you know, on, with, with Robert Kirksey. Okay. Down the, the, uh, yeah, see, we're down inside there, yeah. 20 again, turn and toss it on the sweep. And he, I thought from my where I stand, he was going to tight rope down all the way and score. I thought he was too. They knock him out of bounds. Here's the same play. Okay, good job. Let's see what Franks does. That's a way to get on one of them, Roger. Stay in bounds, Raphael. That's a way to move your feet. So this thing here, I mean, this is why it was a deceptive ball game from the standpoint. He cuts back. Nice job attacking them with their backside safety there. Um, you know, we're down here again. I run the option, pitch it, uh, nothing there. They had it played well, although Denson's really trying to keep his feet churning. Now we're going to go down, we're going to have to go for it off down there. I think it's a third down play. Kenny goes back to throw. Jacks off, throws it out here to Franks, and they hit him about two times. But, you know, Franks, again, is, I cannot say good, enough good things about him. Down, you're going for the touch. Got to go for the touchdown, go for the end zone. They had it covered, threw it in there to Kirksey. And now uh, Missouri comes back and takes over. I had a little quick game themselves. They throw it out here make a few yards, but you can see we're still chasing the ball hard. Hand it off, not much here. Good job of tackling Woolridge. Get around the football. Uh, so I think we're still, we're staying with it. Right, okay, let's see here. Run the draw trap. Nothing going here, so you can see we have driven down there and had another chance to do something, and they stopped us. 35 to 7, and guys are still playing hard. Well, that's the same score it was at the end of the half, so no scoring by either team in the third quarter. We'll have highlights of the fourth quarter between Oklahoma State and Missouri. Well, the Pat Jones Show continues in just a moment. Welcome back to the Pat Jones Show. Pat, 15 minutes of football left. The Tigers have the ball, and uh, but your defense is playing very well. Well, again, we had not given no, neither team, like I say, had scored. We had stopped them down there after a couple of turns. They tried to run a reverse here. At Elmer Williams, missing. we've got it pretty well defended. Good job by Carlos Irving. I think Irving continues to play well. Here's a repeat. Okay, uh, see, you can see, okay, now next play, okay, they tried to throw the screen in Gildon, we had a little bit of a call on Gildon, saw it and dropped off on it, okay, they, they do a nice job of punting, all right, uh, ball hits the ground, uh, ricochets out of bounds, we've got it up around midfield, uh, okay, come back with some play action of our own, all right, Kenny's sitting in there, they've got it covered, okay, force a scramble, and, and, and we, we ain't got anybody to throw the ball, all right, Kenny's going back to throw, looking over here, and again, they've got it covered pretty well, and and the rush gets to him. I mean, this was a uh, series here. I you know, goodness wish we could have hit something here, and we couldn't. We're trying to throw ever down, and you know, again, Kenny's kind of running for his life, and he throws back across the field and couldn't get the ball to Mark Williams. Uh, we had to play. We did play Williams more, which we will continue to do so because uh, they got a little bit of a return right here, but we finally get him down. But uh, LG is out of the ball game at this point with a shoulder injury, so we're going to play. Uh, we're going to play Mark. That's that same middle screen that is a really, really a tough play to defend when they hit you with it properly. That picked up 14. Yeah, again, okay, now we've got a little bit of a stunt coming off from the inside. They throw it and overthrow the thing here. Again, Carlos Irving had him covered pretty good. All right, now they're going to come back and throw. You can see we're running a little some twists and crosses inside. Well, it's a nice throw and catch here. Woolridge had the guy covered, and they, they made a good throw and catch. Yeah, Victor Bailey is a good receiver. Uh, try to give the ball off on a handoff. Clarence Nobles hits him pretty good. Uh, nothing going here. Uh, so Missouri, you know, the only thing about our first or we stop and they come in here and punt. And uh, he nailed this ball pretty good. I think it goes in the end zone. You know, our drive, again, the one we had gotten down there and gotten stopped was pretty methodical and eating up a lot of the clock. All right, here's Denson breaking in the open field. Uh, I thought he was gone. Well, I did too. Good looking run here. Let's see what he looks like on, on the repeat. Again, I think his confidence continues to grow. 
Uh, again, it's a way to hit it up in there. Good job, offensive line. Good job, Roger Franks. And yeah, it did a little, almost look like he was going to come out of that. Half a step. You bet. Uh, he's continuing to get better. Okay, here he is up inside again. Nothing going. All right, they've got him ring neck. Come on, men. Let's don't be slinging each other around. All right. Okay, here we go. Kenny Ford come back on a boot again. All right, let's see what happens. Gets outside and throw it back against across the grain to Copeland, and, and, and they had us covered, and we couldn't get the ball to him. All right, they've got us covered again. All right, now they're going to get the sack, and, and, and you know, we, we were lucky here. I, uh, Kenny looked like he was trying to throw that ball, but uh, we've had an exchange on this now, had with Jerry, and they, they get the ball and, and come back and hit one down the middle on us again. Um, so, okay, we've got, you can see we're blitzing. All right, they throw the ball deep. Right, we've got everything covered pretty well. Uh, now they're going to come back and say, they're still, so both are still firing, still firing the ball up and down the field. All right, Turquoise, and they had Victor Buddy covered that time. Shotgun, all right, fake the draw, go back to throw. All right, we've got him covered. He's holding, holding, holding. That's Throws our freshman it. quarterback, Jeff Handy. Yeah, that's the other one they had. He's a, he's a second year guy, if I remember correctly. Okay. You know, Jackie comes in and hits a, well, this was a 50 yard field goal or something, wasn't it? It was 50 yards. 50 yards, again, 38 to 7. Uh, first points we've given up, second half. All right, let's see what Dimitri Markham does with this kickoff. Yeah, he hits him a little bit of crease and accelerates here. You know, again, I've said this last couple of weeks, but boy, does this Markham compete hard. Again, hits a crack and got a little bit of an explosion himself. Okay, let's get our shoulders down. It's a way to spin. But, uh, you know, Markham, again, continues to do good things, continues to compete hard. I right, run the ball in here with uh, Roger Franks. Well, I think we've got, we got Scott. We put Scott in here at quarterback, I think, right away. Yeah, he's in the ball game. Mm -hmm. Play action. Coming back, got to go deep. Couldn't hardly set his feet, but fires, and I can't fault him for this. Threw it, just threw it out there at, at this moment, and, and, and again, they intercept. Come back out, uh, hand the ball off. Nothing really much going here. They're obviously being pretty conservative when they had when they had a lead. Uh, now they run a little bit of a counter play and don't make many yards, but, but rightfully so. They were just trying to milk some clock and come in here and punt. All right, this is the one that hits the ground, takes a bad hop, watch it, boom, boom, bang. I can't really fault Harmon a lot here for, uh, they can't advance this ball, but they're going to get it down our end of the field. Uh, you know, Scotty is, is one of our more sure-handed guys. They broke, did break a little couple of runs here, but it was just basically a bad hop on him there, and the ball ricocheted up in his face. Again, they're essentially going to run the clock out here, and uh, we're still swarming the ball. Uh, we're still swarming the football here. We're still uh, running, trying to get pressure. Dropped the ball out of bounds, no catch. All right, now this is a, what? this is about 40, a 47 yard. 47 yard, or a little bit down when he hit both these kicked good. You know, again, uh, 41 to seven, Missouri, okay, they kick off again. All right, here comes Denson on the return. He's gonna hit him a little bit of a crack himself. He picks doesn't, up 25. You bet, doesn't take much here. All right, there's Denson on the draw. Uh, so we're, we're still, uh, we got uh, Scott in quarterback, turn around, toss Raphael on the sweep. Okay, a little bit of yards, but not much here. You can see there's still bodies flying all over the place. Scott goes back and throws, tries to lay one in over the top, doesn't. Okay, gets stopped and, and, and punt the ball. Uh, they're going to get it back here and a uh, fair catch. I really don't think there's much of where yeah, they're going to try to run it here and don't make much. I, we got a couple of personal fouls in here sometime that don't like. A little bit of frustration cropping up. I didn't think anything was real flagrant. That was not one of them there, but scramble around and yeah okay they're, they're playing their other quarterbacks he's kind of going out here and winging one yeah they're right there's one and they called that and probably he could have gone either way and uh, they called it on us and there's okay there's one right here but we're still you know i, I cannot fault our effort at, at all okay hit him no gain right there okay we're going to get a late hit called on elmer williams I, again i didn't think it was flagrant uh they run it and they let the clock run out and end up uh, uh, again 41 to 7. bob stole's a Good man, I guy consider a good friend, and, and now he's a good football coach, and they're doing good things with the program at Missouri, and they're going to have a chance to win some other ball games. 41 7, Missouri over Oklahoma State. Well, as the coaches shake hands, we'll take this break. Be back to recap the Oklahoma State Missouri football game in just a moment. Welcome back to the Pat Jones Show. Pat, after the Oklahoma State Missouri football game, I had the opportunity to talk with Kenny Ford. Week before, he had a Great week passing. Had a had a great week uh, running this week. Statistically, you got some things accomplished. Well, again, as we're well aware, Jerry, that the ultimate statistic is the one on that scoreboard. I, I'm not trying to flower up anything unnecessarily here. And, and interesting enough, we left most. We didn't cut this mm -hmm. video up much. There's a That's few right. kick plays out, but I I, I try to think to. 
paint an accurate portrait of this. And again, we did get beat. And I'm well aware of that, and so are the other coaches and players. I think we had 229 yards rushing, subtract 67 yards or something in losses, and I think that gets a little bit out of whack. We got some things done in the running game. Denson had 91 yards rushing, uh, some things done there. Again, on the flip side of that, certainly I, the, the early turnovers, Berrien's fumble, uh, Kenny's fumble, a couple of interceptions. I can't really fault Harmon there late because the ball took a bad hop on him. R very, very untimely. Defensively, sure, they hit some things on us, but I thought they would. The long one to start the ball game off, again, put us in a hole. The great catch that Victor Bailey made that we saw in, the, in, in that little flurry there in the second quarter was a big play. But, but, you know, as far as them just lining up and running through us down after down, down, I really didn't think that got accomplished. I was upset because we didn't get quite – we didn't get him on the ground, Johnson, I'm talking mm -hmm. about now with, with pressure. We scrambled him a little bit. He's a good running quarterback. And, again, us protecting the football. Like I said in my postgame remarks, it's not like you can wave a magic wand and say, okay, we're not ever going to turn the ball over again. Right. That's just, you know, I don't know the answer other than go out there and practice it, that sort of thing. But we did come out of it. It is a disheartening loss, but it is the thing that we came out of it saying, hey, yeah, we did some decent things. We did some things running the football. Uh, you know, our players are not disheartened. You know, I'm not disheartened. Now we'll talk about Iowa State upcoming a little bit later, but now it's just kind of forge on ahead and hammer it, hammer it out and get it done because uh, I think Missouri's got a decent football team. Well, the final was 41 to 7. We'll be back with Coach's Corner and Coach Pat Jones in just a moment. Well, this is Coach's Corner. And Pat, a lot of words that are uh, going around college football talk about parity. Your thoughts on parity in college football? Well, there's always going to be somebody that's better than someone else in, in varying degrees. I think what we're seeing, and I think the scores that are we're seeing pop up every week, Jerry, are an indication that, that, that the scholarship reductions going from taking 30 a year to 25 right. a year have evened things out to a degree. I think the, the way the academic requirements, academic climate, academic retention rules are, and I think they're good rules, I, I th by and large, I, I think that is a factor. Uh, I think steroid use is down, uh, you know, and I, I'd rather not talk a lot about that, but I think that's, that's been a factor in this stuff. But you, know, you look at our league, uh, you know, Kansas State throws a, a close one at Nebraska. Right. Uh, uh, Colorado beat OU more soundly than I might have thought. I think we're going to see a lot more of this, and I think if you've got a one dominant player, he's going to jump out more than he ever has. Darian Hagan, for instance. Hagan is, again, I've said this before, the, I think most dominating offensive player in this league since Sanders left. And you can see what he's doing or what a guy like him can do. So I think we're going to see a lot of crazy scores every weekend. I think you're going to see a lot of league races go right down to the wire, and I think it's going to be harder for anybody necessarily to dominate over a long period of time because to a degree, I think parity and the relativity of is really rapidly approaching the college scene or is already on the scene. Pat Jones talks about parity. When the Pat Jones Show continues in a minute, we'll talk about Iowa State. Pat, you're playing Willie Nelson again, on the road again, another homecoming next week in Ames, Iowa. Well, I'm a little bit sure, unsure at this point about our injury situation. I don't know how bad LG Thompson's shoulder is. It's fairly sore. Again, Mark Cheatwood got rattled around pretty good, and we might not have him up there. I'm also unsure about what Iowa State's going through at quarterback. You know, they've bounced around a little bit. Chris Peterson, the original starter, good player, apparently got hurt. How badly, I don't know. I've heard a couple of different things at airtime. Mm -hmm. Bobby Utter, who they had played earlier in place of Peterson, had been injured at some point, and some youngster played yesterday against Kansas, and, and he's a guy that w we don't know anything about. Apparently had only had one attempt uh, throughout his career. Jimmy Walden does a marvelous, marvelous job with that football team up there. They're going to concoct ways in different ways, kicking game-wise, offensively and defensively, to give you problems. Some of our better teams have really struggled up there with Iowa State at Ames. Uh, you know, I think we're going to go up there and win the ball game, Jerry. Uh, again, I, 
I'm not trying. We can't wish ourselves into right. it. You know, our last ball game we won was the finale last year in Ames. I think it will be hard fought. I think their squad will play hard. I think our squad will play hard, and I think we'll win the ball game. Now again, we can't wish it. We got to dig it out. I think it's going to be a heck of a football game. Again, it's a little bit earlier in the season than we've been up there. You know, usually when we've gone, right. it's been late. Hopefully, you won't have real bad weather. But I expect uh, again a, a, a typically well coached. Iowa State football team, and I think Oklahoma State will win the game. Well, we'll see what happens. Join us next week on the Pat Jones Show, and we'll talk about Oklahoma State and the Iowa State Cyclones. Thanks for being with us. We look forward to seeing you next week.